Well, hello, hello. This is Gat, and welcome back to Daniel Enigma. Last time, we are in that cafe with Kira, and he looked mm, good with those cat ears. Now, let's get back to the video. Once home, I head to my room. After finishing up my homework, it's soon time for my shift at the bakery. I change and head downstairs, but I don't see Mina. She must already be there. A walk to the bakery is quick and easy, and I arrive a few minutes earlier for my shift. As suspected, Mina is already there. She grins when she sees me. Right on time! I was worried you'd be late without me there to remind you. Okay, let's see what we got. We got... I wouldn't be miss wait. I wouldn't miss working with my cousin. <laughs> That's kind of funny and dumb. Cupcakes are a great motivate. I'm picking that one. I was promised cupcakes. Mina sighs. I should have known you'd never be late when it involves food. So, those cupcakes? I said we'd get them after our shift. I knew there were strings attached. People start trickling in and Mina and I split off to help them. After assigning a few customers, assigning really that's what I. <laughs> uh, after assisting a few customers, a familiar face comes through the door. Kira, hold on, this is a little bit loud for me. Okay, here we go. Kira, hello. Mina looks just as surprised to see her as I am. I didn't expect to... Uh, I didn't expect to see you here. I came to buy that bread you had at lunch. Oh yeah, it's really good. Let me get you one. Let me get you one for you. That's okay, I'll get it. Ah. Uh, she disappears in the back, which is strange considering we have the bread stacked out front. Maybe she wants to get a fresh one for Kira? I noticed Kira looking around the bakery. It's nice here. It feels cozy. Thanks. It's a fun place to work. Feel free to browse. Everything here is good, so you can't go wrong. They do look good, but I wouldn't know what else to get. I can make some recommendations. She nods. Sure. You probably want something street. Ugh. You'll probably want something sweet, right? She blinks, surprised. How did you know? Ooh. I remembered you liked sweet things from the cafe. I think I see a smile. Aw. You're right. Hmm. I look around the bakery. You know what? There's a cupcake. <laughs> Putting at the tire cake display. Like, you want a cake? You want that big one? This big green one right here? Or like, these chocolate ones over here? Offer up my sweet self. Nah, that's too strong. Like, maybe if we were going after Erlen, you know what I mean? I'll be like more flirtatious. But this is Kira. A whole new personality. We need to play it. Ah, we need to play it smooth. Sub ah, suggest the cupcake. Actually, Anamiko and Uncle Hajime are working on a catering order, and their cupcakes are really good. I could get one for... I could get you one of those, if you like. Is that okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. Ugh, fuck. I keep fucking up, I'm sorry. Ugh, I just need to get in the groove. I haven't... I new mic and everything. I just need to get back in the groove. Sorry about that. Ugh, okay. I'm sure it will be. There's always, they always make extra just in case something happens. Normally those just go to Mina and me, so I'm happy to bring you one. That's kind, but I don't want to trouble you. Next time I'll try a cupcake though. You better, you better. I nod. Sure. Even though she turned down the offer, I see her looking at the cake display. It seems like she is taking my suggestion of cupcake to the heart. 
Mina returns with Kira's bread. Here you go. Thank you. Offer it on the house. Kira brings the bread to the register, but I shake my head. This one's on me. Kira pauses, clearly surprised. I don't mind paying for it. No, baby girl, I got you. Okay? I know, but consider it a thank you for stopping by. If you like the bread, then please come back again and try more of our selection. After a moment, she nods. Thank you. I hand back the bread. To my surprise, Kira unwraps the plastic and takes a small bite. Do you like it? It's good, right? Yes, it's delicious. Sorry, I hear the helicopter right now. It's just flying over. Okay. Kira's eyes widen. She looks away and a small blush dusts her cheeks. Mina and I both smile. I'm glad you think so. Thank you for the delicious bread. Mm, look at her smile. You're welcome. Feel, feel free to come by- Ah, I fucked that up. Hold on. You're welcome. Feel free to come by anytime. Thanks. The bell dings and Kira leaves the shop. Mina looks at me and raises an eyebrow. On the house, huh? That's awfully generous of you. I'm a nice guy, Mina, okay? What can I say? What? I was trying to be nice. Uh-huh. Is that it? You just wanted to be nice? Yeah. Yep. Then how come you never offer me anything on the house? Because you work here and already get everything for free. You mean it's because I'm not Kira? <sighs> Shut up, Mina. I'm gonna punch the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, wait, no. You're my... You're female. I keep forgetting about that. You could have fooled me. No, I'm just kidding. No! A blush burns my face. Mina laughs. Whatever you say, cuz. I know Mina's joking, but I was really... But was I really so obvious? I can... I can't deny the part of me that hopes she'll come back and visit more often because of this. The rest of the evening goes by quickly. A few customers, a few regulars come in and get their usual orders. I don't run into any other classmates though. Mina and I close the bakery and clean up together before heading back home. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. I wash up and I get ready for the night. It isn't until after I fall into bed then I re that I realize I've forgotten to get my cupcake. No! I worked so hard for it! I hope they still save it for me. Uh, I hope they still save for me. Before long, I drift off to sleep. Motherfucker, I hit the fucking... Like the little wheel thing. Mina wakes me up bright and early the next day. I take a quick shower and meet everyone downstairs for breakfast. Good morning, sweetie. Anamiko greets me as I enter the kitchen. I blink in surprise before responding. Good morning, Anamiko. You don't have... Don't you have to be at the bakery this morning? Oh, I'm heading out in a moment. But I thought it'd be nice to send you off to school, just like when you were little. Mina strolls into the kitchen, catching the tail end of the conversation. Mom! That's so embarrassing! We aren't kids anymore! I know! You two grew up so fast! She pinches both of our cheeks affectionately. Mina and I both duck away. Anamiko! Ugh, Mom, stop! <laughs> Dude, I just love doing okay, this. Okay, okay. I won't bother you anymore. She chuckles, wiping her hands on her apron. Your lunches are packed and breakfast is on the table. Since you're all set, I'm going to go back to the bakery and check on Hajime. Oh, and tell Erilyn I wish her good luck. Anamiko gives us each a hug and disappears out of the kitchen. I know she and Uncle Hajime are busy with the bakery, so it's extra nice to know that they make time for us whenever they can. 
Mina and I start eating. Erlen joins us as we finish up breakfast. The three of us he uh, soon head out of the house. The breeze tickles through the through my hair, and the sunlight warms my face. It looks like it's going to be a nice day. It's a shame I have to spend most of it inside. We spot Kosei walking up, a broad gr grin on his face. Hey, guys. Hey. He falls into step next to me. So, today's the big day, huh? Big day? Yeah, it's voting day. Mina turns to Erilyn. Are you nervous? Not at all. Why not? There's nothing to be nervous about. Um, there's a lot of things to be ner nervous about. Um, taxes, trying to find a job, um, getting your driver's license, doing your taxes, um, you know, being an adult in general. You guys are in high school, so you don't know what's going on yet. Life is hard. Paying bills. Okay. Positivity is the way to go. I could vote for someone else. You could lose. Let's see. I'm not going to say that because I'm not a dick. Am I really too positive? I could always joke around. Mm, nah, let's go positive. It's kind of like, like, oh my god! Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah! Think positively. Anything is possible as long as you believe in yourself. You may be cliche, but you're not wrong. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, cliche. Erilyn smirks. We soon reach the school. After pulling open the main door, we cross through the halls and enter the class. Kira doodles in her notebook. She glances over when I sit down. Hi. Hey. You ready to vote? She nods. Who are you going to vote for? Kira pauses, considering the question. Erilyn. Really? Kira nods. I didn't think those two were close. Erilyn really is a popular candidate. Fuck. The students... Ugh. The students talk to each other an animately before Miss Sato enters. Everyone quiets down as she approaches the front of the room. Good morning, everyone. Today is an exciting day. We're going to be voting for our new grade representative. The class mutters enthusiastically to each other. People are still talking about yesterday's debate. Erlen doesn't really react, but Jiro keeps put. But Jiro pushes his glasses from slipping down the bridge of his nose. Miss Sato gestures to a small box. Please come to the front and write who you want to vote for on the ballot. Then just fold it up and put it in the box. She smiles at Erlen and Jiro. And good luck to both of you. They nod. Shuffling sounds fill the room as everyone stands up. Pretty soon, a. De a decent line forms at the front of the room. Hmm, who should I vote for? Erilyn, Jiro, throw away a vote for one of the inconsecutive candidates. Myself, no one. Okay, if I gotta be honest here, this I'm gonna do this like how the last elections were. I couldn't vote, but let me tell you. Um, uh, so, Republican? Democrat, and you know, like that's like the main ones in America. You can always throw away your vote for a third party, which don't get me wrong, third parties are getting a little bit popular these days, but they still suck. Vote for myself because who knows the country better than I, or be one of those fucking morons. I'm gonna vote for no one because my vote doesn't matter. Ew. Those fucking losers. Um, I'm gonna vote for myself. I have a good chance of winning, you know? You never know. People, Mina's gonna vote for me. She's my cousin. Kelsey's my best friend. Kira, my waifu. You know what? I got a good shot on winning. 
Clearly, I'm the best person for the job. I don't know why I didn't realize it earlier, but I make sure the rest of the class will agree. Ah, uh, but I'm sure the rest of the class will agree. I add my name and drop it into the box. After voting, Kelsey and Mina sits down next to me. So, who did you vote for? Erilyn, of course. Yeah, me too. Mina turns to me. What about you? You voted for Erilyn too, right? I voted for the best person. No, I voted for the best person. Ah, fuck. I voted for the best person fit for the job. Nice. I knew you'd vote for her too. What? Erilyn floats back down to her seat before the last few students settle into their desks. Misato puts the box away and smiles. Thank you for your votes, everyone. We'll find out the results tomorrow. Jiro shifts in his seat. He glances at Erilyn, who looks relaxed. Now, everyone please pay attention. We're moving on to our first group project of the year. Ooh. There's a split chorus of groans and cheers. Hopefully you'll have fun with it. Listen up so you can hear your group and topic. She points to a random bunch of students sitting near each other. You five will be in a group. You'll be reporting on democracy. Woo! Love democracy. You know what I mean? Love it. I might be saying that because I'm American, but in my opinion, I think democracy is the way to go. The people vote who they want. No kings, no dictators, just people who can vote. And f you know what? Fuck it. I could be president. That's the whole point. That's the thing about presidents. Any one of you can be. Even you listening right here and now can be president. <sighs> yep, I'm too high. I'm too high to do this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She gestures to another gathering of students. You five are assigned the oligarchy. Okay, okay. And then... She points to me, Mina, Kosei, and Erilyn. You four will be together with... She hesitates as she looks at the students beside us. Miss Igarashi. Ooh, Kira. I glance over to Kira, who blinks in surprise. Your project will be on the monarchy. Ooh. Miss Sato quickly moves on with the rest of her assignments. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to do that because that's too virgin. It could be worse. I'm not going to say that because, you know what? I never got paired with my friends for a group of assignments, so, you know what I mean? I'll be happy. Score! We're going to have the best project yet. Yeah, this is awesome. We have all the smart people here. She pauses and glances at Kosei. Well, except for one person. Kosei waits. Inspectingly until he realization dawns. What? Hey! You know what I say to that, Kosei? Burn! <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching that 70s show. Moving on. Quite proven. Oh ho! Kira and Erilyn are in my group. Today is my lucky day. Kira shifts her desk closer to us so we all chat. So we can all chat. And she and Erilyn exchange. Pleasant cherries. I must have done something great in my previous life to be rewarded so richly. Literally, my the fucking character is like such a virgin. You know what I mean, when like when I'm not making his choices, he's a total dweeb. Okay, but which one of them do I attempt to get closer to? Kira Bentejo. Jeez, as I compl contemplate my options, Miro Mina weighs. Her hand in front of my face. Huh? Oh, hello. Welcome back. We thought we lost you there, dude. What do you mean? You were staring super hard. I wasn't staring. Oh, you definitely were. Like a creep. Yeah, sorry, man. Be more subtle about it next time. <laughs> Literally, it's like... <sighs> Never mind. Kosei! What? You're also a creep. Burn. Excuse me, Mina. Did you see me staring? Ooh. No. Exactly. 
Mina frowns. Kelsey shoots me a sly smile. It seems I have much to learn. Everyone refocus and an awkward silence settle over us. Erlen looks disinterested while Mina and Kosei sneak glances at Kira who remains neutral. So what was our topic again? The monarchy. Yeah, Miss Sada said we'll need to create a report on the system of government. How do you think we should start it? Everyone stares blankly. No one has any ideas. Jeez, Mina, we only just got assigned the topic. We haven't thought that far yet. I'm trying to be efficient. Erlen yawns. <sighs> There's no need to fret. I know everything we need to complete this project. Mina looks impressed. Really? How come? Erlen probably is going to say something about being a princess. I need to speak before she does. Sweden has a monarchy too. Oh, that's true. It'll be interesting to compare the differences between Japan and Sweden. Dude, how long are they going to believe this shit? Like, my friends and, like, everyone around us. Uh, never mind. Let's keep going. Kira, how about you? Do you already know anything about the topic? Kira shifts in her seat. Not particularly. Just what we've already learned in school. Same here. As the conversation moves on, I lower my voice and address Erlen. Actually, with your background, you would be an asset for this project. I know. That's why I told everyone there's no need to stress. Misato claps her hands to get everyone's attention. The class slowly quiets down. Okay, everyone. One final note. You'll be expected to present your project to the class. So be creative! You'll get points on your creativity as well as clarity. For the first time, Kira seems a little interested. I'm not too worried about this. I think with Kira's knack of art and Erlen's public speaking skills, we should be pretty solid with our presentation. Misato gives us some quick information about each of our topics and offers us more time to discuss as a group. We should probably get together sometime outside of class and work out who does what. Excellent suggestion, Mina. Yeah, good idea. How about this weekend? I'm down. Maybe Sunday? Sorry, Kelsey, but I go to church Sunday. So how about, um, Saturday? What am I doing? I'm like, <laughs> I don't got time to, like, do more commentary. Let's just get this done. I can do that. Okay, it might be easier if we all meet at my house, since half of us already live there. Yeah, that makes sense. We agree on a time and exchange contact information. I give Kira my address just before Miss Sato claps for our attention. I hope you've all had the chance to speak to your partners. I look forward to seeing everyone's presentations. Now, please open your textbooks. We set her down and focus as she dives into the lesson. The rest of the class goes by in a blur. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to call it that for the day. If you like this video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know what? I'm starting to get more views now, so leave a comment. Even if they're like... You try too hard or you suck. Eh, I kind of want to see that. You know what I mean? Tell me how I'm doing. On a scale from 1 to 10, how am I? Nah, 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 that sucks. From a scale to... Uh, who sucks? Uh... From a scale to... From 0 to PewDiePie, how good am I? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, just leave a comment. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.